Hi, it's it's Mark Carbone, uh, and I'm here with Jamie Rayburn Weir, and uh, it's been my pleasure to connect with Jamie this afternoon. We've been enjoying a wonderful conversation about uh, personal learning and uh, some of the things that uh, Jamie's been exploring with her students this year around uh, voice and choice and, and using digital tools. And uh, we thought sort of uh, spontaneously it might be a, a nice idea to capture uh, some of the, the thinking and, and work that she's doing around uh, student collaboration in her classroom. So Jamie's graciously agreed to uh, share some of that uh, for a, an upcoming blog post this afternoon. So thank you, Jamie. No problem. Um, so one of the things that I've been really using uh, digital tools for lately is that I've been um, experimenting a lot with descriptive feedback. I was on a learning cycle at Cameron and we were really focusing on the idea of descriptive feedback and I wanted to be able to track it and so I designed um, a document where I put the date and I put my observations and then I put a box for student reflection and then next, next steps and I put that into my Google Classroom and asked each student to open it which then had it open into my Google Drive and uh, throughout the semester as I observed or had a conversation with a student I was able to um, add to their, I call them profile sheets and the profile sheet then each student had a copy and they were able to at their uh, leisure take a look at what I had said for, to them of how I think they could improve in the classroom and things. I also put praise on there as well because um, I wanted them to know that maybe if I didn't say it, and I had observed it and I wanted them to um, have that feedback as well. And uh, as I got using it, the results were awesome. I had uh, the personal growth and the growth that one of my students especially, she totally went on board. She talked about that she could see what I was saying um, and then she liked that I had tracked her growth. She extensively used the idea of how of her reflecting and where she could see what I was what I was pointing out to her and then she used the next steps beautifully because the the difference between her first piece of writing at the beginning of the year to her final piece of writing was outstanding. The level the depth of the thinking, the communication of her ideas, um, they were they just blew me away. And uh, one of the things she said was that it was so helpful that she could just go in and take a look and knew that I was updating them whenever um, that it was so amazing for her. And now for second semester, I've uh, also been working on uh, a body of evidence chart that is now able to um, really allow me to track my diagnostic formative and summative tasks um, for each uh, theme or area of study that I'm going to be focusing on throughout the semester. And through that, that's also going to be open to the students. And using that will hopefully allow the students to say, OK, this is what Ms. Weir thinks of me, and this is where I need to improve, uh, and that then they can own their learning. And uh, it's just been really great from that perspective. The other thing, too, is that through the, um, the documents, I've been able to add in links, or students have, or I've asked students to find their own links to represent um, what my feedback suggested or how they needed to prove so then they were forced or not forced but they were encouraged to um, go and look up resources that would help them in their learning and discuss how it how it aided them and in it as an English teacher it hit the metacognition strand metacognition overall expectation in each of the four strands of the English curriculum which for us is huge um, and that's some of the best learning I think that happens throughout the course. So. Well that sounds uh, really awesome. Um, I loved your comment about owning your own learning because I think that's such an important ingredient and whether you're, you know, I'll, I'll stretch this a little bit, whether you're a student owning your own learning or perhaps a teacher owning your own learning um, that's being determined by what your students need next. So it's sort of learning in context. That's that's very powerful. Um, I'm, I was interested that um, you're adding in uh, links and other other multimedia um, as, as supports to the student uh, continuous growth process. Mm -hmm. um, in general, how did the students feel about that? 
Uh, a lot of them really appreciated because we were talking dis so with descriptive and I'm being very specific on certain elements that I thought they needed to improve on. Uh, they, you know, the, the pretty standard one in English is that we suggest students go and take a look at the online writing lab, the right, online writing lab, the OWL Purdue website. Um, but a lot of students don't really find that as helpful if they are the kind of person that wants a video. Um, they can find a video where it, it, somebody has created that makes sense for them. Um, and they like that because, you know, there's lots of things in class that we do, but we can't realistically hit on every single thing that every individual student needs and I think one of the most important lessons that needs to come out of education is that that students are seeking out those resources for themselves and finding out that yeah there's lots of great stuff out there especially on YouTube lots of very inter entertaining things but there's also such educational p potential and that by going out and looking for that themselves they also learn hey I can I can go and learn more about what I'm interested in and so that just kind of opens the door for them to start thinking in, in that vein, I think. Well that's great and thank you so much for uh, taking time to connect today and uh, uh, certainly from uh, having many opportunities to have conversations with you. I've appreciated today and uh, I know that uh, your, your students uh, benefit from your forward thinking approach to thank education. You. So thanks very much, Jamie. Thank you.